Hello guys, today I'm reacting to the cringy games I made in Scratch 8 years ago when I was like 12. Pretty ready to cringe with me as we embark on this journey. <laughs> right off the bat, the first playthrough did not work. You had to move away from the nest for the whole thing to work. Otherwise it just breaks immediately at the start. And even if it does work, some things still bug out. For example, the pelt of the kids always changes to a tabby, no matter which one you chose. And um, yeah, <laughs> it's interesting to say the least. I don't know about you, but I'm already cringing very hard at this. Uh, it has no sound effects, obviously. At least my second game had like music in the background. This one does not even have that. And uh, apropos the second game, it was a dress up game. And so, uh, what are these eyes? Oh my gosh. Back then, I did not know what the reference image was. So, all of the art is gonna e either be copied from somewhere, from some stock, po stock photo, or it's gonna look like this crap. <laughs> you can clearly tell which ones have been retouched and which ones are mine. <laughs> but. Uh, 
It's definitely interesting how much effort I put into this. When I hyperfixate on something, I just don't let go. I'm like a pit bull. <laughs> but so uh, I, I kind of like the outfit. Some of them are, I admit, plagiarized from what I was wearing at the time. I think two of these outfits, the one with the star and uh, the one with the diamonds, I was actually wearing back in sixth grade. But the rest are my designs. I even included heterochromia and all kinds of weird hairstyles. So it's kind of cute, to be honest. I don't dig the art style very much, but it's better than nothing, I guess. So yeah, those were my two games. Peace. <laughs>